Hundreds of shooting stars will streak across the sky this week, part of one of the year's best meteor showers. So this shower happens each December, but unlike other ones, it's caused by an unusual blue rock. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen takes a closer look. Meteor showers are one of the great wonders of the natural world. They're really pieces of asteroids or comets that are hitting the Earth's atmosphere and getting very hot as they come through the atmosphere. Each December, the Geminids give us one of these shows. Geminids are weird. They actually have a parent body that seems to be more like an asteroid than a comet. Laura Aikens with UT Austin says this asteroid, Phaethon, behaves like a comet, shedding off a cloud of dust. We are sort of learning more about these, these kind of weird asteroids that kind of behave like comets, but also kind of behave like asteroids. They're, they're a little strange. During its orbit, Phaethon actually forms a tail, just like a comet, possibly sodium gas burning up as the asteroid nears the sun. It actually goes from a little beyond Mars in towards the inner solar system, actually passes close to the sun um, within the orbit of Mercury. But also like a comet, this year and a half long orbit leaves behind it a trail of dust and debris. When we slam through that debris stream that it is left behind in there, that's when we get the meteor shower. Because of the position of this debris cloud, the meteors appear as if they're coming from the constellation Gemini. The best part, it peaks around nine at night. It's one really good shower that it's kind of more bedtime friendly for kids. A show providing a little extra wonder for both young and old alike. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. The best time to see the most meteors is the Saturday night. UT Astronomy recommends you look to the east starting around 830. Around that time, more than 100 meteors will fly through the sky each hour. After midnight, the moon will rise in the east. Stargazers should look west at this time to avoid the moon's glow.